Okay, let's go. Where are we at? Okay, it's going. We're moving. Okay. All right, introduce yourself. I'm Jackie Mazer, and this is my husband. I, please, I can talk for myself. All right, so talk for yourself. Go ahead. <laughs> Good, the look of love. It's all. We want to tell you about a show we've been watching called Hollywood. Dreamland. Dreamland. Uh, the Ryan Murphy piece that we are crazy about. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Don't say we. He had a very hard time watching the first well, hold, three episodes. I'll speak for myself. Okay. I want to take the story of Hollywood and give it a rewrite. I didn't particularly love it. It was, for me, one of the most enjoyable series that I've watched in a long, long time. I mean, it was acted in very well very good acting uh it was shot beautifully but i thought the script and the directing well it would you were, have to understand something it happens horrible. it happens to be it happens to be ryan murphy who is known for his over-the-top sort of productions all right everyone roll camera to make an excuse that this is brian murphy ryan get his name right ryan murphy ryan <laughs> Oh, God. To make an excuse that it's his piece. Yes. Therefore, I have to accept what he considers art. Well, that's what he does consider art. And he has a very big following. Yeah. And he's paid lots and lots and lots of money for the creative work that he does. And he's brilliant. And he made a piece of work here that I think is timeless. And I think it's very entertaining. Yeah. So I take it you're in Gone with the Wind? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. She's goddamn Scarlett O'Hare. Are you f Pacey. Jim Parsons plays a guy by the name of Henry Wilson, who in real life was Rock Hudson's uh, agent, who was an unscrupulous, insane person. Um, we had Patti Lapone, who was magnificent. I want to go to Dreamland. One of the best, best, best parts was uh, Dylan McDermott. You get in the car with them, have a drink, maybe. You know, sometimes, sometimes you have to service them. So all of the acting was fantastic. The storyline became a little bit absurd at a certain point, but between the authenticity of the costumes. Great so cars, they, they had great cars in it. They had great cars. Great cars. And the story, basically it was just to say, this is what Hollywood should have been back in the 40s and it wasn't. So therefore we have a, 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 a Hollywood that doesn't accept some of the uh, people that we would like to be accepted. This is our screenwriter, Archie Coleman. Pleasure to meet you. You're colored. I love it. But there are certain- there You are... liked it. Don't make believe you didn't like you, there was There was a part of you that was enjoying it. You didn't like a lot of well, the- Well, the first three episodes. I know, that was the difficult The first three for episodes. I understand, I understand, I understand that. I am not just a star. I am a star maker. Yeah. And then I would call that I homophobia. Felt, I felt Ryan is trying to portray how it was or could have been for certain men like Rock Hudson. And I'm not giving anything away because that happens very early on in the in the in the series. Should you didn't be. find every line in the script predictable. I came here to be a movie star. It's about fame and what Hollywood does to people. I love love. I hated it. I leave it there, Chief. Goodbye, kids. <laughs>